Hi everybody! My name's Erin and I'm a teacher here at Mathletics. I'm here today to do a live launch lesson with you for our super fun program. I think you'll really like it, especially those of you who like video games. Now I know this might be exciting and you might want to jump ahead to explore, but please don't. If you follow along with me, you'll get to see all the different areas in the program and have lots of time to explore afterward. At this point, students, you should all have a device in front of you. That could be a Chromebook, laptop, or tablet, and your sign-in card. Your school may use a single sign-on, like Clever. If that's the case, you won't need that sign-in card. Now that we're ready to go with our device and sign-in card, let's get started. I'm at login.mathletics.com. You could also be on the app. You can see here on the left-hand side, you can type in your username and password. If you'd rather, you can use the QR code. You can click, click here to activate camera and hold your card up to the camera. It will log you in automatically. I'm going to sign in with my username and password. Let's pause here and make sure everyone is signed in.
This is what the learning platform looks like for students in grades 7 and higher. There are so many areas to find fun math games and learning opportunities. I am in the account of my student called Charlotte in grade 8. You can see she's really customized her learning experience. Let's first look at the top of the screen. You'll see three buttons called To Do, Explore, and Play. Let's first dive in to the Explore section. This is where you get to make decisions about how and what you learn. You have access to a huge selection of activities to really become a master of your skills. When you click on Explore, it will always take you to the Activities tab first. This is where you will see the units of learning accessible to you that your teacher has set for you based on your grade and region. Yours will likely look a bit different than mine. I'm going to click into the first unit that I can see. Here is where I can see all of the activities within this topic. Now I'll show you what it's like to complete one of these activities. Right away, I can see that there are 10 questions. When I enter my answer, I get immediate feedback, so it tells me if I was correct, or if I didn't quite understand, it will tell me what the answer should have been. You can also choose to click Show Animation as you work through the questions, and you get to watch the animation change. A really important feature of the Activities section is the little eye symbol. If you're not sure what to do, before you call on a teacher or another adult for help, try clicking this eye symbol, and it will take you to either a quick video or a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to complete the math question. You might be thinking, but why do I want to do these activities? Well, besides really improving your math skills, you can also earn 10 points per correct answer, which can be used in many ways. I'll show you that part shortly. Now that you've seen what an activity looks like, I'd like you to pause the video and try one for yourself. See how many points you can get. Here's what you're going to do. Click Explore, choose a unit that interests you, and then click on an activity. Remember, you can always try clicking the I button if you need some help. Pause the video and complete an activity now.
Now that you've completed an activity, it's time to look at your results. You'll notice right beside each activity name, there's a space for a bar. This bar works like a traffic light system. If you see red, that means you're just learning this new concept. If you see orange, you're working toward mastering the concept. If you see green, that means you're nailing it. Remember, these results are for yourself only. Now it's time to check out the next section under Explore called Quests. Quests are new and improved tasks that are designed to really challenge and extend your thinking. Like the activities, the quests are organized by unit of learning, so you can really choose what topics you want to focus on. Let's check out a unit. Now I can see there are many quests within each unit. You can see the name here on the left, and the hexagons on the right tell me how many steps are in each quest. Let's check out this one. You can see that the quests look a bit different than the activities, but the general instructions are the same. You read the question, enter your answer, and make sure you click Check My Answer. You will get feedback right away. If you got it right, you'll see a green check mark on the right hand side. If you're not quite there yet, you'll see a red X. If you get two answers wrong in a row, you'll be prompted with a helpful hint. There are two ways to complete a quest. Either you get five correct answers in a row to move on to the next step, or you get six out of eight correct. But don't worry, if you don't get six correct on the first try, the quest will give you new questions, so you can keep trying if you'd like to. Also, just like the activities, the quests give you 10 points per correct answer. Now I'm going to show you a cool feature of the quests. If you click on the orange audio button on the side, and then you click on the speaker icon, the question will be read to you in English. But if you click on the world icon, you can choose from hundreds of languages. Once you select a language, if you click on the speaker icon, it will read the question to you in that language. If you click on the text icon, it will show you the question in writing in that language. This is a really wonderful feature, especially if you're learning English or if you have family at home that speak another language, you can show them. Now I'm going to click Save and Close so I don't lose my work. Now that you know how to do a quest, I'd like you to try one. Since the quests have multiple steps and can take a bit longer to complete, your teacher will give you a time limit to work on your quest, probably about five minutes. Don't worry if you don't finish it, you can always go back to it later. Remember, click Explore, then Quests, then choose a unit that you like and choose a quest that seems interesting to you. Pause the video and work on a quest now.
Great job working on your quests. Now I'll tell you about some of the other areas under the Explore tab. You might see a tab called Challenges. These are even more challenging math problems based on the real world that your teacher might assign to you to complete individually or in a group. You may also see a tab called Assessments. These are like digital math quizzes that your teacher can make for you. If you ever complete an assessment, you can see the work that you've done in this tab. Next, I'd like to show you the To Do button at the top of the screen, next to Explore. Your teachers can assign certain tasks to you, maybe to work on in class or for homework. If they do that, here's where you will see what has been assigned to you. You can see that this student, Charlotte, has been assigned two tasks, one activity and one quest. This To Do button is an easy way for you to keep track of what your teacher would like you to complete. But remember, if you don't have anything in your to-do section, you can explore Mathletics as you like. Next, we're going to check out the Play section, which might be the most exciting part. You can see the Play button across the top, next to Explore and To-Do. This section has several fun math games to help you build your math fluency skills. Our most popular game is called Live Mathletics. Let's check it out. The concept of the game is to get as many correct answers as you can in 60 seconds, like a race. There are four ways to play. Against the computer to beat your high score, against your classmates, against other students in your school, and even against other students in the world. Each game can have up to four players. There are 10 levels across the top. They are not grade specific, but they do get harder and harder. By clicking on the bar underneath each number, you can see what that level includes. Level 1 is addition up to 10. Level 2 includes subtraction. Let's skip to level 5. Level 5 has addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and some time and measurement. All the way up to level 10, you can see it is very advanced math. Wow, that looks challenging. Your teacher will help you if you aren't sure which level to start on. To demonstrate, I'm going to choose a level 4 world challenge. The computer is searching for players around the world who have selected the same level at the same time as me. I enter my answers with my keyboard. The game has a three strikes you're out rule, so if I get three wrong answers, my game ends. Once my game is over, I can see my results and corrections if I have any. Live Mathletics also gives me one point per correct answer. Remember that the activities and quests give me 10 points per correct answer. Now that you know how to play a game of Live Mathletics, let's have some fun. I'd like you to play a game against your classmates. Here's what you need to do. Click on the Play tab and then click on Live Mathletics. Once you see this page here, select the level that your teacher has chosen and select Class Challenge. Once everyone is ready, hit the green Go button and see who you have to battle in your class. If you don't want to challenge your classmates, you have the option of doing a computer challenge. Pause the video now and do a Live Mathletics game against your class.
Let's head back to the play section. Live Mathletics is super fun, but there are other awesome games here as well. Multiverse is game-based learning at its finest, so if you like video games, you'll probably love Multiverse. In this game, you use your multiplication skills in order to become a space trader, defeating space pirates and building an empire. You should definitely try that one sometime. Down here at the bottom, we also have Rainforest Math, which can be super helpful to you if you need some extra help with something in math class. It has lots of different digital manipulatives to help you learn various math concepts. We also have a game called Play Pause. This is where you can learn your foundational number skills, like addition and subtraction, with the help of some animal friends. You can see that the play section has many choices for a variety of learning styles. No matter how you like to learn best, there's something for you. Now I'm going to show you some of the fun ways you can personalize your Mathletics account and how to use your points that you earn. If you click on the Explore button again, it's kind of like your home page, and you can see all these cool things on the right-hand side. First, take a look at this gear icon. This is where I can change my background. There are lots of cool backgrounds to choose from. All I have to do is click on one, and it will become my new background. Next, underneath that gear icon, I can see my avatar. Here's where you can really have some fun. If I click on the little pencil icon, I'm taken to where I can customize my avatar. I can choose one of a variety of fun characters, like unicorns, robots, or a variety of humans. Once I've decided which character I like, I click the green check mark. I can customize my avatar even more than that. If I click on the little blue shopping icon, I can change the physical features and the outfit of my avatar. You'll notice that some of the items have a cost next to them. This means that, for example, this light blue frilly shirt costs 25 credits. You're given credits when you achieve personal bests in Mathletics. Now that you know how to customize your account a little bit, go have some fun! Remember, click the gear icon to change your background and the pencil icon to customize your avatar. Pause the video now to customize your learning platform.
Now that your learning platform is a little bit more individual to you, let's take a look at that last section all about rewards. Remember how I said that in the activities and quests you get 10 points per correct answer and in live mathletics you get 1 point per correct answer? Now I'll show you how to use those points. Under your avatar you'll see something called Meritopia. Meritopia is a super fun story world where you can explore and meet fun characters. When you achieve the points indicated here, Meritopia will unlock for you as a reward, but only for five minutes. The first time you gain access, you need to achieve 200 points. The second time, it goes up to 300 points. And the third time, 500 points. But you can only go into Meritopia a maximum of three times per week. The next week, the points will reset and you will only need to achieve that first level of 200 points again, and so on and so on. Directly under Meritopia, you'll see a blue bar called Certificate Points. If you achieve a thousand points in one week, you'll earn a certificate to celebrate your learning. You or your teacher can print your certificate off for you to take home or keep at school. There are a few other cool things in Mathletics too. If you scroll down under Meritopia and your certificate points, you'll see some other buttons. Workbooks is where you can print some paper-based math problems for school or home. Since you are in grade 7 or higher, you can also access exam revision worksheets. My Progress shows you a cool graph of your results, like the traffic light system that I mentioned under the Activities tab. My Daily Points shows you how many points you have achieved that day. Math A to Z can be super helpful too. If you aren't sure what a certain word means, you can click on this and enter the word. It will tell you what the word means and show you a visual to better explain the meaning to you. Finally, the Hall of Fame keeps a list of the classes and students around the world with the highest points. To sign out, I just need to click this exit button and I'm taken back to the home screen. I hope you enjoyed this launch lesson today. Thanks so much for learning alongside your class, and I hope you like Mathletics as much as I do. Your teacher will now have a pack to send home with you, including a Mathletics scavenger hunt. Good luck and enjoy!